All right, I'm gonna land over here and okay, see. Okay, so can far find some it doesn't copper. seem like super hospitable. Um, there's just like a bunch of like these weird, like mechanical pieces everywhere. Yeah, let's see it. Super weird. Okay, well let's scan. Copper. There we go. Copper, right here. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's the one I'm going to. I'm beating you to it. What's with this, like, glowy orb? Glowy orb. Yeah, look at these red things. This planet is blowing my mind. This is like, uh, if, like, some, like, weird technology crashed here and then, like, things just started to evolve out of this, like, weird ancient technology. Yeah, I know in one of the updates they added, like, a ton more variants to, uh... Magnetized to ferret. the planets. Oh god. Okay, well, if you're gonna mine that, I'm gonna look for another... It's a bunch yeah. of magnetized ferrite dust everywhere. Um, oh, gold deposit. Hello, gold. Go get some of that. At the very least, I can sell that. It's not much carbon-based plants here, huh? Yeah, I don't think there's really plant life here. This place is just all about the robots. Huh. Like, what are these things? Oh, you know what? Can I scan these? Um, what's what's the what's the scan button? Is it? Uh, thought it was. Just hold down F, right? And then hold down left click. Oh, there we go, yeah. Petilium? Weird. Age unknown, root structure knotted, nutrient source doomed wanderers? Oh, um. okay. <laughs> Weird. They look like, yeah, they do look like depth charges, like underwater mines, absolutely. Oh. Copper. Hello. Well, that's just convenient. Okay. That was the one I was just at, though. Uh, and you can also mine asteroids and stuff and get gold, so when you fly back to the station, just blow up a bunch yeah. of asteroids, I guess. Oh, is that the copper that you're going to? That might be the copper you're going to. Um... Magnetize ferrite. Hmm. Think that that's that. Communication station. Communication, Communication station. station. Uh, let's see here. Where, where, where did my gold tag go? I lost track of you, gold. Where are you? Wait. Seriously, where's the gold? There's like this weird thing that happens that like, once you're far enough away from a resource, you can see it on your scanner, but then once you get near it, it sort of disappears from your scanner, and I don't know why. Oh, there's the gold deposit. Okay. Weapon charge depleted. Mm. Charge you back up. Where was? There it is. Okay. I'm going over to another copper deposit. Oh, no, 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 no. So, uh, damn it. I accidentally pressed E, and now I'm going to have to, like... I do that all the time. And what I will say, um, and this was like one of the constructive criticisms I had when I was playing during Stop Miss, um, you have to hold W to launch so you don't accidentally launch, but you can tap E. I mm -hmm. wish it would just hold E. If it were hold E, I wouldn't make that mistake nearly so much. Or like, there does not seem to be a way to cancel the landing, from what I can tell. Could be wrong, but I was like spamming everything. Um... All right. 
Okay. Um, I got a bunch of gold. Let me see how much uh, chromatic I can make. I think I can make all the stuff I need. Let me see. Uh, copper. Oh, yeah. 270 copper. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, oh, fuel. Oh. There's uh, some sentinels here, so watch out for that. Oh, yeah. They don't like it when you go just killing all the wildlife. Even if it is weird robots. I don't think they like you messing with any of the resources, so like even the copper they'll get pissed off about. Oh, Firestar, you just got scheduled for your Fauci Ouchy and you're in an extra good mood. Congrats! Nice! Yeah, I'm um I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um on the tenth, uh Clackmas County is doing like one of the like pop up vaccination things. And uh they've been having a hard time actually giving out the or like scheduling enough people to come and get them. So if they have any left over that they need to give out at the end of the day, I'm mm. on a list. So hopefully I'll get a call. Yeah, I believe me and Jazz are now eligible uh, in this county as of today. So we're going to attempt to schedule sometime this week and see if we can get in. I heard that I heard that scheduling today was a nightmare because oh, so many people became eligible today that it was not going to happen. What I will say is I believe the 10th is a Saturday. So... Mm. There, there's a possibility that midstream I might get a call. They might be like, you need to come now. And I might be like, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Kaiser made it extremely easy. I'm so glad to hear that. Kaiser's my uh, insurance uh, provider. So if I, I don't get a poke uh, next week, then that's good to know. Your entire family's vaccinated. My dad just needs to get a second shot. That's great. That's a huge um, piece of mind. Right. We're, we're doing a uh, a little family thing for um, Amelia's first birthday in a couple weeks, and uh, we are going to be mixing households for the first time in a long time. Um, Mel's mom and my mom and my sister, we're all getting together. But I think at that point, um, I think – Pretty much everybody but me and Amelia will be vaccinated, so that'll be a huge relief. Yeah, Amelia's gonna have to wait for a while, right? Yeah, I mean it's not that big a deal for her, you know, because right. children are low risk, and I'm relatively low risk. So as long as everybody who's at risk is vaccinated, then that what's this? Give me a lot of peace. Hexaberry. Dude, where's some oxygen? Is there not oxygen on this planet? I doubt it, because there's, like, really no plant life. This place is bizarre. And I'm getting out of uh, here. I need to get out of here, I think. Um, I got a bunch of gold. I I bet you that I could probably buy your uh, your stuff if you needed. Like, I got a bunch. I got 300 copper. Um, That's enough to make your chromatic, at least. Um, like I've I've made enough chromatic for the whatever requirement it was. Right. I've already done that. Um, I could make more chromatic and sell it for more, but right. I am almost out of life support, so I'm gonna rock it off this planet and go wait for my turn to land. I guess. Blow up some asteroids on my way. Yeah, I might blow up a some asteroids and see how much gold I get. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because then you can sell that sweet, sweet gold. Do some silver. Overheated. Ooh. I'm curious to find out how much I can get for this gold that I've got. So, Rick. Yes. We're men. We are. We're in the sky? So, like, are we already breaking the rules? Uh, oh. Oh, God. Ah! I'm breaking the rules by running <laughs> the ship. Um, that is true. Look it. Uh, I, I think what they're trying to say is you're not real men. Because you don't wear tights. Wow. You don't wear tights. It's true. Or I, space suits. I just flew into a fleet of ships um, trying to get to this. Uh, sorry, ships. Sorry. Look, real, real men don't fly into ships, okay? Learn how to pilot that thing. 
Yeah, it's it's really not a very uh, inclusive title, is it? No Man's Sky. Oh, cool. Dude. It's sucking me right in. I can actually land this time. Oh, there's actually a few landing spots. Thank goodness. All right, so one of these two sides is where I can sell items. Is it this side? No, it's the other side. Wait, is it that side actually? Hold on. There's only the trade like uh, thingy on one side of the station. I can never remember which one it is. Okay, it is the other one. Two. They need like signs. It's like a uh, train station this way. Hmm. And this ship is floating illegally. Land your ship, person. All right, what do we got? Where's my gold? Gold. Yeah, see, I had 139 gold. I sold it for 45,000. Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm and coming in. Wait, 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 wait. What? No, that's sell. Okay, I was gonna say, I can only sell my five microprocessors for ten thousand. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, they lose their value. All right, managed to land right away that time. Okay, well, I can at least complete this freaking quest. Do -do. Rick, I just noticed you have a hot pink jump jumpsuit. As I well. do, and also my skin is pink. I'm like pink on pink. I'm all pink. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so let's see. How do repair? Um, or let's see. Um, where's the quest? Guide. No log. There we go. Um, Use E to inspect partially installed technology. Okay. Um. Okay, here we go. I got a bunch of silver. You can have that. Um, bunch of gold. Gold nugget. Which part of this? I just need a little bit more money. Uh, Rocket launcher, launch thruster, pulse engine, shield. Was is it the pulse engine that I want to do? Oh, technology. There we go. Hyperdrive. There it is. Got it. Okay. So that should that should do it, right? Hyperdrive installed. Okay. Fantastic. Um, okay. There we go. Now buy microprocessor. Give me five of those. Oh, and I need to make some more uh, launch thruster stuff. I'm getting low on that biz again. Hyperdrive All right. Jelly. Rick, huh? I've done it. Got the microprocessors. Hey, congrats, man. Uh, let, let's get out of this place, huh? So, we've completed that, so that means that we should be on to phase three, right? Do, 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 uh, I'm just trying actually, to remember. Actually, oh, we where? still need to warp. Okay, so we actually have to warp now. So, my hyperdrive is installed. Leave the initial system for the first time. That's what we need to do. Um, land on a derelict freighter. And explore the Loitkara system, which is, I guess, where we're going to go to next. I would have to imagine. Oh, God, I keep doing that. So launch. All right. I'm launching out. And then, yeah, let me take a look at the... So, yeah, Expedition, Interstellar. So, M goes to the map, and... Oh, so we are currently in the Loitkara system. Um, is the hyperdrive fueled right now? Do we need to get some warp cells as well? Um, I Let me see. If I go tab and I go to hyperdrive. Oh, yeah, we do need to charge it. That's true. We do need some warp cells. Um, so then how do we and warp get cells, warp cells? Antimatter and antimatter housing. Um, antimatter housing is oxygen and ferrite dust. And antimatter is chromatic metal and condensed carbon. Okay. Um, 
seems like we can do that on their first planet, right? Yes. But I'm wondering, like, the quest... Um, the Explore the Moitkara system... Oh, planets discovered seven of six. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, stellar classification... How do I actually check this objective off? Because I've explored it, right? I've explored Explore seven of six. Uh, maybe that's just sort of like a general generic quest that's always in your current system. Yeah, um, yeah. And land on a derelict freighter. I wonder if we can find one of those. In any case. I'm going to go down yeah. to this planet here, straight ahead. This Hazenden 7. Moon of okay. planet. Do, was that our starter planet? No, our no. starter planet was the big one. Somebody named a outpost Poop Crater. <laughs> uh, okay. High sentinel activity on that planet, apparently. So don't piss them off. Oh, look at all the blue trees and whatnot. Okay. Oh. Almost crashing into some... Uh... So, there is tons of flora on this planet. Oh, God. Good, because I, I need oxygen. I might not now that I went to that space station. We'll see. Whoa. Whoa. What are these mountains? Ferrite dust. Yeah, there's a sentinel just chilling right here. Ah. <sighs> Good night, baby. Good night. Good dreams, baby. Okay, uh, is there somebody's base? No. There is a lot of activity on this planet. There are so many pins everywhere. Boom. Oh, look at this guy. Hello. Yeah, I still need oxygen. Okay. What gives oxygen here? Um, you know what? I wonder if we can do a scan for that. Let's see. Uh... There are so many deposits on this planet. This planet is rich with life. Impulse beam. What is this? Ha oh, hazardous flora. Oh. Look for the hazardous flora, because those will give you oxygen. I forgot I can make life support gel. How do I make that? Oh, ow. Ow. Not cool, guys. Doom. Life support gel. Dihydrogen jelly? Okay. <coughs> oh, what the? Oh, it's you! So there's these little, um, like, Venus fly traps. On the ground, they're very easy, easy to miss, but they, they will give you auction. Okay. Up mm. oh, here's another one. Ow! Stop it. Ow. Like... Oh, and there's just things that, like this is O2 right here. Oh, oxygen rich plant, okay. Yeah, oxygen plant, give me this. Yes, it's these little red guys. Come on, pick it. Oh, and you can just pick them, yeah. Ooh. Oh God, I'm gonna die. Why aren't you picking? Okay, I got some oxygen. Exosuit, life support. Okay, so we need to make our Things for the uh, the warp drive, right? Okay, so let me pin that actually, so I know what we're looking for. Um, exosuit. All right. Um, pin you and where's the other one? I did the housing and antimatter. There we go. Okay. Oh, I can only pin one at a time. Okay. That's fine.
I'm just going to destroy all these red flowers for a minute. Look at, the, look at this guy! There's all sorts of weird little aliens around this place. Dude, with the, like, glowing plants? Yeah, there's a lot of variety on this planet. Oh, I've already hit that. Okay, um... So, what the heck? I, I thought that I'd pinned this quest thing. Uh, so what's going on? Go here, and X pin you. Okay, you're pinned. Okay, hey, we're good news. I can, I can breathe for a bit. Oh, gather auction, gather ferrite. Okay. Auction and ferrite. Oh, so we need auction for the antimatter housing, so you're going to need to get more of that. Okay. For the future, I'm just going to make a bunch of this uh, life support gel, which is easier to make because you just need dihydrogen and uh, carbon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. And then you can save your auction for other things. What do these giant plants give, if anything? Nothing? Okay. Boom. And yeah, the, the giant plants, we need the advanced mining laser anyway, if they're even mineable. Yeah. Um. Do, do, do. Okay, so remind me, what is it that we're trying to build here? So we're trying we to build the warp the cores? Uh, yeah. antimatter, um, and the antimatter housing. And so we need, ow, ferrite dust and oxygen. Do you remember how much oxygen we're going to need? Uh, I do not. Let's see. Um, oh, 30. Easy. Okay. And then yeah, we that's... need the chromatic metal and condensed carbon for the, uh, antimatter. Okay. So I just need to get ferrite dust now. Yeah, normally ferrite dust is easy. I'm not seeing many Ferrite dust is here. off of these, um, like, bluish, oh. like, boldy things that are in the ground. Do, do, do. I'm curious if any of these big boulders over here are ferrite dust. Wow, that's like pure that. ferrite, but we need the advanced. I know, that. we need to upgrade our mining lasers, man. Okay. All right, so I probably have enough. I have to imagine. Yes, I do. Okay. Created the, I created the housing, so now it's just a matter of getting some uh, chromatic alloy, which there's tons of deposits around here. Let's just find a copper. Copper, 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 copper. Boom. Mm. Sorry, do you recall how much ferrite dust you needed? Um, I think that 30 or 50. Not a lot. Okay. I found some boulders that uh, you can just mine. Oh, for the ferrite? Boom. Alright, I'm sure I got more than enough now. Uh, weather warning. Oh, oh superheated rainstorm. Yeah, you're going to want to take shelter. Run in. Are my launch thrusters at zero? I'm gonna have to make more launch thruster stuff. You need that launch juice. I do. Give me the juice. Launch juice would be like a good sports drink name. Get you some launch juice. Launch it! Oh, that raid storm. You can dig yourself a hole and then wait it out in the ground, too. I'm almost back at my plane. Come on. Oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, Rick! I fell into the ground. I fell into an underground chamber. No big deal. I'm safe. And there's actually lots of cool stuff down here. Um, but <laughs> I was just trying to keep safe from the storm, and... Uh, I just fell. I fell. 
Oh no. <laughs> Happy birthday to the ground. That's right, yeah. Okay, so. Warp cell, warp hypercore. This is cool. This is like when, uh. Spoiler. Um, King Kong went to that underground place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, man. The Hollow Earth that, Theory. The Hollow Earth Theory, exactly. Which is a real thing people really believe in. Um, I, I will say that that movie also had just some of the most gorgeous CG I've seen in a bit. Um, yeah, that, it was good. Uh, if you guys haven't watched uh, Godzilla vs. Kong yet, you should check it out. It's pretty good. It's like... It's like not a must watch, but like, you know, if you're into just like a popcorn blockbuster, it's it's a good one. Well, if, if you got even vaguely excited at the prospect of, uh, you know, a Godzilla movie and then were disappointed with the first two, well, give it a watch because you'll probably like it. Which freaking beam am I using? Oh, hazmat request. There we go. Um. Is the right, storm over? No, it's still going. Where's my ship? I have no idea where I am because I'm stuck in the ground. You can look at your, your compass at the top and sort of find it usually. But because I'm underground, it's like it's above me, so the compass doesn't help a ton. Okay, it's there. Ish. Storm okay, storm's clear. Yep. Okay, there we go. I just need a little bit more oxygen, actually. Now, where the <coughs> hell is that copper deposit? So I am curious to know how their server setup is is set up here. Like, I can't imagine that literally everyone is sort of on this same planet simultaneously on the same server. You know? Um, right. They would. It would. It would explode. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if it's I, just rendering stuff within a certain distance of a player. That, or like like what World of Warcraft does when certain areas get to... Whoa, whoa, I'm pop. sorry, buddy. Whoa, whoa. This guy's freaking out. Oh, Rick. Out. Oh, sorry. His arms are awesome. <laughs> um, like World of Warcraft has like, I think they call them shards or something like that. But basically it's like... You're on the same server technically, but like even though someone is standing right next to you, you can't see them. Like we experienced that sometimes when we were playing World of Warcraft most recently. Um, right, right. Like when I was doing the quest and like only the people that were pertinent to my quest I could see, but you couldn't. Exactly. Right. And like I couldn't even see you until I think we, we joined a group together or something like that. Um, but then again, I did see people in the space station. Yeah, totally. So I think that like it's only rendering, say, like a thousand people at a time for everyone else. Right. You know? It's um, like there could possibly be ten thousand people here, but not all ten thousand are represented. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be curious to know because whatever it is, the game has been running pretty smoothly. No complaints. <laughs> <laughs>